Good morning, my peeps. Happy Friday for those of you that have the Monday through Friday gig. Um, just dropped off Allie, Rebecca's home. Sleeping a little bit, trying to catch up. She's worn out, as you can imagine, and we're delighted that she's home, especially Chewy. But uh, just, you know, feeling so topsy-turvy because nothing is, you know, as it was. So my sister gets here tonight. Her flight lands at 8 o'clock, which is so weird. The flights usually come in in the morning or afternoon, but this one's coming in at night. So no reunion footage of Mason and Chewy today. Just that'll be on tomorrow's vlog. And that's it. I mean, it's gonna. I'm going to be a busy, busy person today trying to uh, juggle everything and get everything ready, but I'm remembering not to stress myself out. Not to stress myself out. So I did want to just remind y'all that I love you and I'm going to enjoy my spackle-free Friday. <laughs> I'll talk to you in a little bit. Love y'all. Poor fella, but nobody was hurt. But the car is gone. No bluebirds yet. But the feeder is full in anticipation of their arrival. There's a large crane next to me. And someone from Ohio in front of me. Oh, Hawaii. Good afternoon, my peeps, on this wonderful Speckle Free Friday. I am on my way to get Allie because, of course, the one day I really, really, really needed Glenn to get out early is the day they don't cut him loose. So I gotta grab Allie and then go pick up Chewy Boy from the groomers and uh, head back home and try to wrap up what's left. And you guys, this is my mindset. I got all this list, right? So I knocked off everything on the list. You know, bathrooms, floors, laundry, blankets, you name it. Took care of all this stuff. And suddenly it hits me just as I'm getting in the car to go get Allie that today's payday and I need to pay my bills. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I'll be doing this evening before showering and heading up to the airport. Her flight arri arrives around 8 p.m. So that's going to be fun. Me driving at night on the highway with my nephew. The only good thing is that I went to the firehouse to have them put the car seat in because I honestly have no clue. They've changed so much from when I did them and they used to only be, you know, you just fed the seatbelt through and that was all there was to a car seat. You know, when my girls were little, so now there's anchors and things like that. Let me get away from this crane, man. Um, and now there's anchors and things like that. And good thing I did because I would have put it forward facing and he's not forward facing now. He's supposed to still be rear facing. Who knew? But once a kid was able to hold their own head up, they were good, but goes to show ya. Anyway, I'll keep from my jibber-jabber to a minimum, and I will talk to you in a little bit. Look at him. He's so tuckered out. Yeah. Poor little boy. <laughs> Bojangler time. And so I end the day the same way that I started it. It's time to start getting ready. And the stress level is mounting because my sister just texted and said that the security line in Miami has hundreds of people in it and she doesn't know if she's going to make the flight. So I leave it in God's hands if 
If she doesn't make the flight, then there has to be a reason for it, and I have to be okay with that. But I sure hope she does make it. Stay tuned. See you tomorrow.